hello guys so in this video we are going to talk about local remote switch we are going to talk about the local remote switch that is used in an HV and EHV circuit breaker so in this so this is a this is a, an outdoor vacuum circuit breaker you are seeing in this video and the the one marked in the square is our the local remote switch and it is also shown in the circuit diagram here okay so let's begin with it so first we'll see what is the so first we'll begin with begin with the circuit diagram uh, without the local remote switch so 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 in your screen you can see the circuit diagram of uh, an out 33 kV outdoor vacuum circuit breaker without a local remote switch so in this uh, diagram you can see that k1 is k1 that is the dc positive is being directly given to the tnc switch this is so this is the this in this square we have shown an outdoor vacuum circuit breaker and in this square is the control panel okay so k1 dc positive is being given directly to the local tnc switch and the k uh, and the k1 uh, dc positive is directly given to the remote TS tnc switch and from there if we switch it on switch on the tnc switch uh, to C then this DC positive is being extended to the closing coil and the closing coil having the having the DC negative directly to its one end the closing coil operates and the breaker closes okay so this is how the operation is without the local remote switch now we'll see now we'll see why the why we need a local remote switch so let's uh, let's suppose that the breaker is breaker is under outage let's see uh, let's suppose that the breaker is under outage and we need to carry some work on it so if say one some person is working on the breaker and suppose someone someone closes the breaker remotely from the control room there might be an accident and he may lose his hand so in this case so if we if we if we in install a local remote switch uh, and if it's local contacts of the local remote switch are placed in series in the closing circuit then uh, we cannot then we then then the breaker cannot be closed remotely once if the local remote switch is placed on the local okay so let's see how it's wiring is done so now that we have understood the need of the local remote switch now we'll see the how it is wired up so you can see in this diagram so instead of giving dc positive k1 directly to the local tnc switch and directly to the tnc switch what we have done is we have given the uh, dc positive k1 to the local remote switch and through the local remote switch it is then extended to the local TNC switch and to the remote TNC switch okay so so in this case what we have done is we have placed the local remote switch on the local mode with the with that thing what will happen is the DC positive will get extended to the local TNC switch and we can close the breaker we can close the breaker locally but you can see that the the DC positive will not get extended to the remote TNC switch which is in the control room and so no one can close the breaker remotely through the control room okay so if someone is working on the breaker he can safely he can put uh, put the LR switch local remote switch on the local mode and he can safely work on the breaker he will be rest assured that no one closes the breaker remotely no one can close the breaker remotely okay okay and and let's see now we'll see uh, how the how the circuit operates when the uh, when we need to close the breaker remotely okay so in this diagram we have we have shown shown how to how the how the sorry how the current flows when we, when we when we need to operate the breaker remotely close the breaker remotely okay so so the positive dc uh, so in this case the local remote switch is placed on the remote and the positive dc will now get extended to the remote tnc switch and remote tnc switch and we can 
and if the remote TNC switch is placed on C, this positive DC gets extended to the closing coil and as the closing coil has permanent negative DC given to its one end, its closing coil operates and the breaker closes. Okay, so this DC positive, uh, this po DC positive that gets extended to the remote TNC switch is called as the closing positive and K5, it is, it is labeled uh, with the ferrule K5 and this DC positive, it is called as closing positive because it is used for the closing purpose. It gets K5, gets converted to K21 and which then closes the closing coil. Okay, so in this way we have today we have learned how to close the breaker uh, with the local remote switch in place so that so that the so that while the breaker is under shutdown we can place it on the local mode and it cannot be closed remotely for more such articles you can visit our website flowingelectrons.com also we are on the instagram at the rate flowing electrons thank you so much guys thank you so much